hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this is going to be kind of like the mid-year update that everybody's been doing slash favorites for a while now and i'm going to first start uh, talking about plugging in one of my covers um everyone i got so many messages on instagram and uh, some comments here um about this cover this is a cover i made it was a prototype it's when i kind of dwindled down into the leather cover i felt like there wasn't as many people wanting them and so i made this prototype and i never even posted it it's now posted on etsy it's made to order the leather is called pontedero i believe and i believe it's italian i have to double check but it's the most beautiful leather i've had and it's been just sitting safely in a closet because i haven't done any leather covers and i actually was thinking not that long ago about doing a very simple traveler's notebook but with this le leather so i'll probably be doing that as well but if you're interested in purchasing it it's on my etsy um it's there it's pocket size only and it's this exact uh, same one now a uh, mid-year update what worked and what didn't work i think i've already talked about what didn't work i used to have three hobonichi weeks at the beginning of the year uh, mainly is because I tried to make this one work because I had ordered two and then I got the Moomin. So this ended up being just my school work and it worked for a little bit but ultimately I realized that it's been much easier since I've done my to-dos on the back uh, like a bullet journal like every week I can write what I know I need to do but then every day there's like the more minutia uh, to do's that come up so sorry everything just fell for some reason it's windy um, so this uh, movement one has been working incredibly well and I actually did purchase next year's through a site called white rabbit express where you sign up and somebody buys it for you in Japan and then mails it to you um, it's been purchased for next year and then um, they'll mail it to me when they get it, obviously mid-September, but I'm really excited. But next year, this one will be my gratitude um, journal because I do want a mega so that I can, instead of having these little um, journals in the back that like basically every month I have to change, I'll have everything. The notes this year, I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably the worst year for the notes pages for me um the planner itself is fantastic i'm going to post um flip through because i'm completely up to date with my drawings and coloring so it's a it's a pretty <laughs> pretty weeks um, but i really have loved my weeks even more i have this one i have the mega as a journal uh, that somebody gifted to me thank you so much and then i do love these eternal leather covers this one is for the mega and this one is for the regular one to be completely honest the difference is so so tiny i if i can get a mega to fit in here then i might um but then also the mega does fit in this one and i do love this cover so i don't know yet which cover i'm going to be using next year but i know i'm very happy that as of now i have three weeks cover um and i use three weeks um, I do have some left that I made too so I may use that for the mega it be it'll be a good fit love my gratitude journal like it has been so good to have it just works for me it's great I'm really happy about this I love the pile of vanishing point hate it hate it hate it and I still do because I didn't flush it out but I just put a pilot uh, ink cartridge in there because I had the noodlers ink it is so it takes so long to dry i've never had that problem even with fountain pen so it's not the fountain pen uh it's the ink on how much smudging happens and even when i think like okay it's been a while and i highlight it it smudges everything hate it like i have a whole box of noodlers ink and i don't want it i am not happy with it because if it wasn't Tomo River paper, it would work. Like if I go to another paper someday, then I can use it. But it, it's, it can't on the, maybe for my kids journal, actually, now that I think about it. Because in there I have two uh, nomads and I have um, my little kids journal in there, which I haven't written in a year in, but I'm, you know, I'm there. Uh, I've been really getting a little bit sticker crazy for 
like more planner type, like the Comfy Masters Co. I already had a lovely mine. Um, I had a few of hers there in my sticker transfer sheet. Um, and then who else? T -t Mandolin Plan. I have a few of her letters. Um, and that's it. Yeah. And I really love those. Those are fun to put in my weeks. I've been adding them in the month and in the weeks. Like I put some of the Coffee Monster Co. here. Uh, here and then um, on the weeks as well I think I did that yeah I put these two here and here so I've been really enjoying all my journals once I dropped the um, thinking of you planner which was kind of an extra planner for me and I just really reduced the amount of journals it went well the only one that I'm always kind of catching up with is the illustrated journal and that is something that I want to work on um, it's one that I would never give up but um, sometimes like it's hard if I don't have pictures then I don't draw for a while because I try to draw every day whatever pictures I have and then a week has passed and so that's the problem I need to draw when there's no picture or something use it more like an illustrated journal so I could be drawing like a coffee mug if I'm drinking coffee while I'm drawing or something like that but um, I made it too complicated at some point where I, I like pages where I have tons of drawings and like you know but I went back and I for example I had watched Dracula so I, I started um, drawing these they're not colored some are colors I went back and I did some Hobonichi challenge did some like something like this where really I just wrote what I did put a few stickers and that was it so I'm I'm still catching up there's like it, the weird part is there's a big hole in like may but for the most part june i have most of the days done and now july i'm a little stacking so and that has been um that's a staple i'll never give that up so uh, between i mean i have this i have the five year that are like not that i don't necessarily pick up every day and my personal journal journal that i don't necessarily pick up every day now that i'm busy but um, what I want to work on is making this part of my journaling daily. It's one small page. I can't do this. <laughs> and so I'm going to. Um, so that's part of the, what I'm working on right now because I used to do that more. And honestly, like since I don't use a pencil, I go with the mistakes. It goes pretty fast to draw. The coloring, it takes a little longer. That's why there's a lot of them that are not colored. But honestly, if at the end of the year I have a lot of uncolored pages, I don't care. At least they're drawn and that's fine. Uh, this every morning and this obviously every morning and during the day so these are like the every day all the time this one needs to join its friends basically before it was a journal my personal journal that was that but it's not anymore another thing i've been really enjoying uh, using are the stencils i finally got my first order from um, fun for your planner on Etsy because it got lost because they're in France and it was great letters and this habit tracker which I will use in the weeks uh, in the actual weeks I realized yes I preferred not having a big tracker on the weeks and so I put it in the bullet journal section but I prefer having an actual tracker in there so what i did is i use this for the steps because i can't write in there and then i um track on this one and we'll see that works there's this much there's always this much i cannot wait till the ink runs out it's driving me insane <laughs> but um so these have been really cool i got a few i even got like this one like if someday i go to a bigger format then that's great i've been really enjoying um my sticker release paper uh, book that is in my traveler's notebook. I wish I had purchased one for my passport too So I could have a smaller version. I cannot find anywhere if you know where I can purchase the traveler's notebook Transfer paper insert for the passport site size. Please let me know. I'm really uh, Looking um, for that. It would be really great to have um, still on the same cake with the paper mate uh, pens and I used, I think those are the new color midliners, which I really like two of them. I mean, the third one is a light gray and then the other one's kind of a brown and that's too dark for me, but I really enjoy having that. And right now 
I have everything in a little pouch because I'm about to go house sitting for a friend. So I'm bringing all my supplies and I'm putting it into the hit lab um, pouch. And yes, I'm bringing all my journals and I will be making videos from over there. It's half an hour away from my place, but she has a really zen, um, awesome house. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so that's it. Those are all my favorite things that I've been using a lot. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to think. But now that's uh, I've been pretty. It's been pretty simple my setup, and I do have it down to uh, I don't want to say science, but kind of a science, um, except for oh everything fell, except for um, the Illustrated Journal, and that's the only thing that I um, I need to fit into my daily life. Let's put it this way: I really need to be able to sit down and say, okay, in the morning, it's not when I'm going to be doing it, so it's at night, and nights. You know, most of the time I go to sleep. <laughs> I am very, I go to sleep bed pretty early. So it's always hard. Maybe in the morning for the day before is the way to do it. Gratitude plus this. I'm gonna try, I'll let you know what works. But um, yeah, so what is your favorite item right now? Do you have like one favorite? Cause I would say it's probably, it would be my pilot vanishing point if it wasn't that ink is like, non dry like it never freaking dries yes it's waterproof once it's dried but it takes like days it's ridiculous i've never seen this i haven't experienced with a lot of uh, inks on the tomo river paper so i have heard people complain about that but i have never really experienced it and it is so annoying i see you i understand you it's terrible <laughs> but um yeah despite this i think this would be one of my favorite items and the weeks the Tomo River paper, really looking forward to feeling that new paper that's coming out next year. We'll see, um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, please leave me a comment um, in the comments uh, of what you've been really enjoying using. Um, let's share because you might be surprised and maybe somebody doesn't know about it and wants to try it and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.